Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Kobayashi's Made Dragon Season 2, Episode 11, the semi-season finale of the season. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to this. The last, few episodes, the last few episodes have been great. And like I said, um, I don't... Uh, I'm sorry, not I don't. Uh, I hope it kind of focuses on, on how it's been going. So we had an episode kind of about Elmer. And the last episode was about Kana. Uh, I hope it kind of continues with that. I think that's really nice to have whole episodes dedicated around characters. Um, but yeah, uh, as always guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's go into this episode right now. Oh no, Kobayashi! Just eat it, you'll get all strong and powerful, Kobayashi. <laughs> oh my god, are they working? Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> kind of so cute. Oh, okay. Interesting, Toru. <laughs> I think if you ate part of that tail, you would be infinitely powerful as a human. <laughs> you fools. She always works a lot. Like, always. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, exactly. Posture is so important when you're sitting down on it. <laughs> True, yeah. You to meet boiled in a pot in the land of the dead. What? And does that apply to Toru as well? I don't know these names. <laughs> <laughs> so cheeky. Toru philosophy hours. Interesting. Oh, that's cute. Oh my god, she can make it a massage chair. That's awesome. Oh, Toru. <laughs> obviously, Toru doesn't actually need a massage, but uh, obviously she likes it. <laughs> oh, I love how Toru cares for everyone. Such a great character. Huh? What's happening? Ooh. That's really cool. So you say in the... Kobayashi can speak in magic runes? Who is this person that he's with? I've only just noticed. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Welcome back. Interesting. We're going to find out a bit about Toru now. Look at this ancient dragon dude. Wow, look at all these dragons! Holy shit! Oh, is the baby Toru? That's fucking cute! Oh, I need a plush of that! <laughs> Plagiarism. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Oh, baby Toru is so cute. Oh my god. Seriously, I need baby Toru as a plush. That is absolutely adorable. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, she explained that she was doing that. For real. They've become so close, all of them. Yeah, for real. Please do. I want to know what, how Toru feels about this. I love how complex the relationships in the past are with these characters. They're so deep. Oh, wow. Aww. Watch over her for your entire life. That's so cute. I love that, because, like, Toru even needs watching over by a human. But for the fact that he said that... Does she not want to talk about 
Bro, I have the feeling this is gonna make me cry. Baby Toru! Oh! Look at her! Look at her, little baby. And look at her, a young dragon form too. Oh, I love her. Kana! <laughs> oh, Sama! Like pranks. Oh. The previous? Wait, I'm confused. Have they explained what that means by previous? Whoa. Holy shit. Her dragon form is so cool. Fafnir. Fafnir is a scary looking dragon. <laughs> oh. oh. I'm so glad these two are friends again. Wow. These visuals. Really can't believe she tried to fight a god, dude. Jeez. And then... And then there was Kobayashi. I don't remember. How the hell did Kobayashi pull that out? I don't remember. Because that is insane to think about. Oh, really? Oh. That's so cute. And then you pat her on the head. Oh. Alright, so that was Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, Season 2, Episode 11. Uh, I really enjoyed that episode. It was so nice to see the reasoning for Toru coming to this world from her father's perspective and then obviously her perspective as well, which is a lot more detailed and personal. Um, it was really nice to see all of her kind of past. I loved seeing baby Toru oh, in dragon form and in human form as well. And then baby Kana too. Oh, so cute. Um, I, I love I love her reasoning for her coming to this world is just to be a maid and more specifically to be there for kind of Kobayashi. I think it's really what she was supposed to do uh, and it's nice for her reasoning as a dragon for you know doing whatever she wants to do uh, and that's that's her right to do so and uh, I, I really love it and I'm definitely looking forward to the season finale and um, to seeing where it goes from there and to seeing other potential because I don't know about the Dragon Maid manga I, um, to see if the story can continue. I'm not too sure. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, as always, guys, I like the video if you'd liked the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And peace out, guys.